Welcome to our diabetes lesson. The purpose of this video is to give you real world nursing education that goes beyond this nurse workbook. So diabetes is something that may be more common than you think in your clinical practice, especially if you are at the bedside. This is because diabetes causes a host of secondary conditions as well. And everyone's diabetic journey is going to be a lot different than someone else's. Somebody else may have a certain type of diabetes, but in addition, their personal environments and the way they personally manage it might be a lot different than the other person that has diabetes. So what exactly is diabetes? Well, when we eat food, it normally has sugar inside of it. And this sugar goes into our bloodstream and then it's given to our muscles and to our cells to be utilized for energy. So some people that have a high energy output, like a marathon runner or people that do a lot of endurance stuff are going to need a lot more energy to fuel their cells and their muscles. But if there isn't a way that this sugar can get out of the bloodstream and into the muscles and cells, then we're gonna have this backup or accumulation of sugar inside of our bloodstream. And essentially, diabetes is going to be that, this lack of insulin that's going to help pull the sugar out of the bloodstream, go through a channel and put it into the cells. But don't worry, we're gonna go super basic and talk all about type one, type two of diabetes, and what exactly insulin is and how it works. So let's jump in. After we eat food, glucose rises in the body and is supposed to leave the bloodstream by glucose channels and into the cells for energy production. But glucose can't leave the bloodstream without insulin to assist it into the cell. So when we have type one diabetes, we want to think none, and we're gonna come back to why this is in a second. So when we look at our example here, we're gonna eat food that contains sugar, and that's these little gray cubes. So they're gonna represent our sugar that is gonna enter our bloodstream, and we see our bloodstream with our sugar inside of it. Well, in this bloodstream, we don't have any insulin. So no insulin is present. And this insulin is going to be represented by this green key right here. If we remember, insulin assists our blood sugar into our cells. And insulin is produced by the pancreas. So no insulin being produced by the pancreas means it's not in our bloodstream. So we don't have any keys in here. So in this example, no insulin in our blood vessels to metabolize the blood sugar out of the vessel, so our glucose levels will continue to rise. And these blue circles are our glucose channels, and then these green blocks represent our insulin receptors. And we'll see that we don't have any green keys or these insulin keys in our bloodstream. So our glucose channels are going to be closed. So why exactly does this happen? Well, this is when the body mistakenly attacks and destroys insulin producing beta cells in our pancreas. So usually our type one presents in childhood and young adult years. And this is gonna require a dependency on insulin and the exact cause of this is unknown. So this goes back to our type one, think none, because we don't have any insulin in that bloodstream. So type one, think none. And then we move into our type two. And when we have diabetes type two, we want to think few. So in this example, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna eat some food with some blood sugar inside of it, and it's going to enter our bloodstream. But if we look here, we do have these green keys present. So we do have this insulin that is present. And our insulin is produced by the pancreas, but it may or may not be enough or the body is resistant to it. So if we look over here, we have insulin is present in our bloodstream, but the body is resistant or it's not enough insulin that's present to open the glucose channels to lower our blood sugar. So in this example, we can see that we have our blue glucose channels, but only one of them is open because there's only one insulin receptor binding to that insulin receptor channel to open up the glucose channel. So some glucose channels are still closed and the insulin opened the receptor causing the glucose channel to open. 
So why does this one happen? Well, this is either from A, the body is not producing enough insulin, or B, the body becomes resistant to the insulin effects. So beta cells from the pancreas in this condition are unable to keep up and they become damaged after constant high blood sugar is in the bloodstream. And this can be related to poor diets. So this is actually the most common type of diabetes that we see and it usually happens in later adulthood. So how exactly does insulin work or what does insulin do? Well, this again, it unlocks or opens our glucose channels resulting in the glucose going into the cell for energy. So we're gonna look at this anatomy of a cell before our insulin is present or it's available. So this pink circle is our cell right here and we have our insulin receptor sitting on top like we saw before. And then up here is our glucose channel and obviously it's closed because there's no insulin that is unlocking it. So we're going to give that insulin. And in this example, we can see this insulin has now bind to our insulin receptor, which is now unlocked or opened our glucose channel and now our blood sugar is able to get into the cell. And there are many different types of insulins that we can give our patients. Some of them work quickly and some of them can work over the long term. And we're gonna go over that stuff in a future lesson. This concludes our lesson all about Diabetes 101. I will see you in the next lesson.